For years, Sony has tried to launch a Spider-Verse to call its own. Some have been good. Some have been bad. Some have been Venom. And some never even started swinging. Now they're back with an all-new strategy. Saying f*** it and doing all the spider stuff at once. Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse Strap in with this fresh take on your favorite neighborhood superhero that's probably one of the best movies of 2018. But it's got a lot of spiders in it? I don't know. This movie's a work of art, man. Maybe I'll just run out the clock on this one by pushing random buttons in my booth. Hmm, what's this one do? Uh, that's not a good sound. Whoa, I don't think I'm in my recording booth anymore. Who are you? I'm Epic Geek Girl, the voice of Honest trailers from an alternate dimension. Just sunny, upbeat, and emotionally healthier. And? And what? That's all the explanation the movie gave. Wanna team up for this one? Heck yeah! Suit up for a fresh new take on the Spider-Man franchise that combines jaw-dropping camera work and fever dream visuals. With a multicultural hip-hop-fueled New York that proves Sony product placement is the one constant in the multiverse. To create a mold-breaking superhero story with the meta of Deadpool and Lego Batman. Same for Comic-Con. What's Comic-Con? The heart of Superman. And the visual style of Pix. Actually, this movie doesn't look anything like the animation we've gotten used to. Does every animated character in your reality do the eyebrow thing too? Yep. Uh, this booth is getting kind of crowded. Who are you three? I'm the Epic Dungeon Master, a far traveler from a distant realm who earns his keep being critical about movies. Y es yo, la voz épica de la mujer telenovela. Yo regreso el pasión a los honest trailers. G'day! I'm Australian voice guy. I'm Australian. Huh. How's that work? Boobs. Oh. Uh, that makes yeah, sense. That works. Shall we continue this quest? Let's do this. Park your Peters, because there's an all-new Spider-Man on the block, Miles Morales. He's a relatable, sweet, nerdy high school kid that was bitten by a radioactive spider. Y destruido por la muerte de su tío y su amor por Gwen Stacy. Wait, how is he all new? This Spider-Man likes Post Malone. Calling it Chris now, baby, I'm a wreck. Oh, okay. Yeah, makes yeah sense. completely different. But you won't want to walk a mile in his loose-fitting shoes, because this spider guy doesn't just have one coming-of-age problem. He's got all of them. From dealing with his demanding dad. Finding his artistic voice. To fitting in at a new school. Y manteniendo un amor prohibido de otra dimensión. Living away from home for the first time. And puberty. It's a puberty thing. <laughs> I don't know why I said that. Crikey, just so much puberty. Please stop sticking. But Miles isn't alone on his spider quest. Because plenty of spider folk are joining his party. From the hot bod version. To the dad bod version. Y Nicolas Cage, haciendo el papel de el mismo. Sometimes I let matches burn down to my fingertips just to feel something, anything. John Mulaney, playing himself. I just washed my hands, that's why they're wet. And one that's so anime, I'm amazed she's not licensed by Funimation. Together, they'll battle all new takes on classic spider bad guys. Like the chaotic, neutral, and completely terrifying Prowler. And the sexy cat lady version of Doc Ock. All led by the Kingpin, a tragic villain mourning the loss of his wife, his son, and his neck. Hey, don't take my punchlines in my own booth. Sorry, mate. Sorry. Ugh, this is a mess. How did the movie keep all this manageable? So take the leap with a movie that sounded like a terrible idea when you first heard about it. But ended up being so good we can't wait for more Miles. Or Gwen Stacy. Or whatever they throw at us. I'm down. Down under. Get it? I'm Australian. O quizás una saga trágica del hombre araña encontrándose con su propio clónico. Los dos creándose ser el Peter Parker real. Pero en un momento climático, uno se muere en una explosión. ¿Era el hombre araña real o el clónico? Except for that one. Well, guys, it's been fun, but it's time to wrap up. How do you want to do this? Starring. Well, I would watch 500 miles. Peter Piner plucked a pack of Peter Parkers. Depression sweats, depression sweats. They're as sad as things can get. Blonde recluse. Boss Baby, 2099. Squiddy Woman. John Hamm. My Hero Arachidemia. Cage Against the Machine. 
and hey, and Purple Shala Ali. Bug Hero 6. You know, you guys could always stay. We could be an Epic Voice family. Sorry, mate. Kangaroos to box. Además, que te amo. Nunca podemos estar juntos. Yo tengo que regresar a mi propio cabina. Until we meet again, my friend. Is it Tuesday yet? Plus, if we stay here, our atoms will explode. So, later, nerds. Bye, Felicia. Oh man. I hope they come back soon. Because I'm not watching the Jared Leto Morbius movie by myself. Thanks to my epic voice verse friend, Felicia Day. Check out her new sci-fi comedy podcast, Voyage to the Stars, wherever you get your podcasts. And to Matt Mercer. To learn more about Critical Role and the Kickstarter for their animated series, visit CritRoll.com. Is the first episode of our new series fandom uncovered about Twilight fans? Yes. Do we have a healthy history with Twilight? No. But should you check out the show anyway? Yes, yes, and yes. So click the box to watch now. Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice. Winter is coming.